Hi, I'm Mr. Frog. For a while now, I've been heavily interested in the Ultimate Iron Man game mode. With this in mind, I wanted to set myself a new challenge. Using standard UIM rules, I want to acquire one of the coolest pets in the game, the Omelette. But there's a catch. In addition to these rules, I will also not be allowed to leave the island of Zaya. This means I will have to obtain all of my gear, stats, and supplies in the local areas. Can it be done? Welcome to Overzealous. actually having quests to do because it just like gives me a route to take and then when I see things on the way I can just like marvel at them and be like oh cool new stuff all right let's start perilous moons another quest for the overzealous boy I mean so far I would say there is the heck is a sulfur nagua I'm gonna kill it I'm sure this won't cause any problems what does it drop oh that's the thing I was meant to be killing I don't know, they give them stupid names. I'm never going to remember them, am I? What do we got in here anyway? Some shops. We got... Did I do anything with these? Oh, trade? What do you have? Oh, another room pickaxe shop. Hang on, how much do you charge? Oh, you're cheaper! You're cheaper than Lovercage! I can save money! Woo! We said I should stay away from humans. Mummy was wrong. What else we got? You? Uh, what have you got? Some bread and stuff? Ooh, fish pie. Fishing boost? That's pretty nice, actually. Uh, garden pie is beautiful. Because that's great for the farming guild. Insanely good. Uh, the fish pie is pretty good as well. Because it means I can boost for anglers without having to make fish pie. Pretty nice. And we got... Holy jewelry shop. I See, this would be great. If I had a really reliable way of like making my stuff and noting it, but I don't. So it's kind of pointless. I'm never really going to use this. It sells sapphires. The other shops are better for other stuff, but it's cool nonetheless. It's an alternative to grums, I guess. And uh, we've got one more. What's this one? What do you sell? Oh, the pestle and mortar. I see. This is what you were talking about. Shop that sells pestle and mortar. We've got a rune shop over here. I mean, I already have Arceus, but we'll check it out anyway. What do you sell? Uh, the ex oh wait, nature! Oh my god, nature and laws! I'm so blind. Oh my god, this is insane. Wait, I just I have a shop for natures and law runes. That's nuts. I'm I'm so blind. I was about to say it's the same shop, and then I was like, wait a minute, no cosmics though, which is kind of annoying because cosmics are going to definitely be needed more in the long run. But I will not complain, because I will take the natures and laws. Specifically the laws. The laws are insane, because it's so easy to recharge my Book of the Dead now. I was always worried about this, but... I, and natures are just massive. I mean, I do have loads, but... It's still good to have a shop for it. Oh, this is actually a really good place to do my smithing, I've just realised. Because I could, like... I mean, if I didn't have a superheat... In fact, even with superheat, I think this is the closest one to a furnace. Wait, is this bronze only? Hold on. I don't know if this is like the lumbridge one. It doesn't say rusted, so I imagine I can use anything on it. But it's pretty close to a bank to unknow, and there's a furnace there as well. A forge? I assume that's just a furnace, right? Yeah. That's cool. Uh, this would be a great place to make all my bolts, actually, which I've got a ton to do. Catch moonlight math. Oh, it gives me prayer? Oh, that's so cool. That's so nice. Oh, Moonlight Moth. I'm blind. That's so cool. Give me that prayer points. Wait, Cockatrice? Oh, Cockatrice. Okay, let's be real careful here. I do not have a mirror shield. <laughs> Assuming they work like normal Cockatrice, I'm not running up to them. Oh, this is the room I was looking at. It's not going to let me do anything here, though, is it? It's going to tell me I should wait for the others. It's sealed tightly shut. I mean, the same thing, basically. You just came to level. Whoa, this guy's power leveling, man. So they don't work properly. Whoa. Excuse me. Did I not come over it before? Yep, I know exactly what you're saying. Yep. Yeah, that's uh, it's good. Uh, she, yeah, she's doing well. Thanks for asking. Raw broom, do I cook it? Oops, cancel, cancel, cancel. Hello? Can I not? Okay, I'm stuck in this. Good. I, I guess I'm just not allowed to stop fishing. That's cool. But the fishing spot. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, but that's not how fishing works in RuneScape. Cool. Right, we got the stuff now. That uh, only took me longer than it should have done. 
Oh, it just, it, okay, it did it automatically. There's me trying to figure out this puzzle, and the game's just like, ah, don't worry, Frog, we got you. One small favor. I came to Zaya to avoid that quest, man. Ah, <sighs> fine. Okay, okay, so this is scary. Um, They said something about fire. I really hope I don't die in this, because that would really suck. I have no idea what to, what to expect here. I'm actually kind of terrified. Wait, hold on. Wait, we're team fighting it? Okay, I'm not doing that right now. Not while my stuff is stored. No, I'm not doing it while I'm death storage, man. I need to get through my death storage before I can commit to stuff like this. It, <laughs> that's way too risky for me right now. I've got a whole bunch of stuff I can get through and make up loads of space, so I'll probably do that and then try this boss, you know, with my items on me. So, um, I'm going to leave that for now and check out some other content. All right, given how uh, difficult that quest looks, um... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this froggy quest because why wouldn't I? You know, Mr. Frog not doing the froggy quest is kind of uh, embarrassing. So, uh, I assume I just talked to this guy and we'll figure out this quest, which I'm hoping it doesn't have a level 696 frog boss in it. Let's get it done. Talk to frog. I am frog. Hello, frog. <laughs> he fell in. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Whoa, that escalated quickly. It's a frog. Oh my god. Whoa, that took a very, very dark turn. What the heck? Squidge. Oh. What am I even... The click box on him is huge. I also just want to put out that he has one HP and I ruby spec him, so that's fantastic. Such a good quest. Man, what a great quest. I really hope that they add a sequel to this, because I'd love that. 2000 woodcut XP and we get the hardwood patch, which I'm probably not going to use. Honestly, there's not much reason to. Maybe I'd plant a teak or something in it. I don't know. I guess I could plant a mahogany. I've already got mahoganies, though. It's like... And the nice thing about having teaks here, I mean, I don't need to plant it, but the nice thing about having teaks here is that if I need teak planks, I don't have to hunt down gangs anymore, which is great. But, yeah, I really hope they add a sequel to this. Such a great quest. Okay, we're going to go Hunter Guild and check out this last quest that we're going to do. Perilous Moons is going to have to wait until I've sorted out my death storage because I'm not risking losing all my items to a boss fight. Ah. I'm glad this was brought to my attention. I'm not doing this quest. That kind of sucks, really, because it's such a tiny little thing. Because I'm on the last step of Eagle's Peak. But obviously, I did that for box traps. I really hope this doesn't screw me over, but I'm not going to do this quest. Obviously, I'm not, I'm not going to go do an Eagle's Peak, that's what I'm saying. So I guess I'm done with quests for now. I'm probably going to start working on my death storage so I actually have more inventory space to work with. But other than that, I might just explore a few bits that I haven't explored yet. And uh, work towards completing Perilous Moons at some point in the future. So that's most of Valamor Explored. Obviously, the smaller niche things I've still got to look into. Um, but I think it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's got a lot of content. Uh, it's got a lot of stuff I could do. And I have a lot of time that I need to spend clearing out my death storage. So that's the next thing I'm going to work on. I might take a small break to dwell in some of the Valamore stuff, but we'll see. So I finally figured out where to sell these. Uh, it's a decent money maker, if I do it correctly. It is now time to make ourselves a ton of bolts. The ore was generously gifted to us by the one place that it's going to be used, the Chambers of Zeric. Alright, that's going to be the last of the bolts made for here. I've still got 105 adamant ore though. Um, I would have had enough coal to do this. Had I not have accidentally traded some over to another account. <laughs> so I was getting rid of some of the extra loot, like I get rid of the mahogany planks and whatnot, and I put the coal down accidentally, and then picked it up on my other account, and then realized I just got rid of a thousand coal. So I'm gonna have to manually go and get the rest of the coal. It's not too bad, it's like 600 or something, but 
Uh, I can easily go mine that super quick. So we're going to go get ourselves a pickaxe. We'll do the rest at Karend Castle. But once we've done that, we'll be able to use a Valamore to unlock quite a few beautiful things. Now, I will say I have slightly too many gems for the amount of bolts. I'm not going to make extra bolts. I'm not going to mine any adamant ore because it just takes too long. Uh, I'm just going to sell the last of the bolt, uh, the last of the gems. I think there's 77 I think I worked out. I'm going to be over, so I'll just sell the rest of the rubies. It's not a big deal. Let's get this done. At the normal price. Thank you kindly. Toothy, you will no longer be getting my money, you extortionate git. And there we go. That's going to be the final one done. We're just going to go and smith these. I will need to add feathers and add the bolt tips, but I think I'm going to quickly skip over this because there's a few bits I want to do for convenience sake first. A few things that are going to seriously improve our quality of life. Right, the quality of life updates that we are going to be doing is upgrading the house. We are going to be adding a chunk of new stuff to the house. Once again, we're buying an adamant axe because the rune axe is an absolute scam. I'm going to need to get myself 10 oak planks. I'm also going to need some mahogany planks soon. But uh, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to get all the supplies now, as I will not have enough inventory space to do so. That's a regular tree. All right, we are going to be doing something that I should have done a while ago. And that is we are going to build Torax in the house, because for some reason I don't have any. So we're going to build every single one of them. So we have all of our molds and all of our saws, whatever the heck you get from this, because I don't know why I didn't have this built before. Wait, what? What do you mean I've just completed this? Haven't I not chopped these before? I swear I've chopped these trees before. Either way, I needed some hoggly planks, so I came here to get the logs, and apparently I've completed a medium task in the Kevos and Karend area. Whatever game, whatever. Right, you. You are going to help me out fantastically. We are going to grab two of these. I also went ahead and used some snapdragons to make some super stores. You can probably tell where this is going. We are going to head back to the POH, and we are going to make a nice little upgrade to our pool. Now, this isn't really going to do much. Honestly, it restores my stats, but like apart from that, I, I don't even really use that that much. I wouldn't even really use that that much, should I say. But even still, it is nice to be able to go ahead and do this. And that is the highest tier pool we will ever be able to get. So there we go. Fancy pool is built. All right, the second item I'm going to be building is actually a really, really good one. And I've really wanted this for a while. I just need to figure out where it goes. And that is going to be the servant's money bag. Right, apparently I had to build a bedroom because I didn't own one. Uh, I don't know where I go to sleep at night, but not here apparently. And we should be able to build a servant's money bag. Now the reason this is such a great item to have is because I now have a means of storing my money. I don't have access to any coffer in RuneScape, but as you'll see here, it'll probably stop me. But I can store up to 3 mil. There you go. I can store 3 million coins in here, which means I don't have to keep taking out my entire cash stack. From Hespori whenever I need some money. I can come here, take out whatever I need, and put the rest back. I think it comes out in increments of 100, so occasionally I might have to drop like 80 GP, but that's not a big deal. We do now have an easily accessible source of GP, which is honestly a massive relief. So I will say, having this shop here selling lore runes is an absolute godsend. However, it is very, very expensive, because if I buy more than 50 per world, I end up paying about 350 coins per lore rune which is insane. I will be selling my nature runes here later, so I'll be getting a nice chunk of cash, but at the same time, I need 6,000 lore runes for what I'm trying to do, and that's gonna cost me a lot of money. All right, that's gonna be me selling off the last of my nature runes. So I decided to do this just because I can buy them here, so I don't really need to keep a stack anymore. If ever I need them, I'll just come here and buy some. Uh, it didn't give us that much money because I actually only get like 65 GP per nature rune. But honestly, I think the inventory space is so worth it, especially as I'm trying to get as many spaces as I possibly can. I also went ahead and bought 420 extra lore runes. I only need 6,000, but I also need 420 to be able to enchant the bolts that I'm going to make. So I grabbed them while I'm here. And then the secondary runes that I need are fires and earths. I'm just going to go grab an earth staff from Arceus when I do that. So that is that done. Uh, we'll be sorting out the rest of the house a bit later. I think I'm going to go and finish the bolts first. Uh, I just realized I need to cut the gems, which is kind of awkward. Maybe I won't do that just yet. I'm at least going to put the feathers on the bolts because that's not going to require too much space or effort. And I'm just going to slowly whittle my way through the uh, items I've got in the death storage. I want to save doing the POH stuff for stream, which is in a few hours, so I don't want to do that right now. 
Right, so I sorted out all the diamond bolts. Uh, I'll be doing the rubies later, just because I don't really have the inventory space to do it right now. Um, and I also went and sold all of my rune arrows. I know I said I was saving up with the op optimistic chance of having a T-bow, but I do have dragon arrows for that, and I can just buy the rune arrows back if I really need to. I think they're like 400 each, which is very pricey, but it is an option if absolutely necessary. But now I'm going to be doing something that is probably going to be a terrible idea, but I think it's worth it. I am going to spend... About a mil buying soul runes. Because uh, if we can get 5,000 soul runes, we've also got the blood runes in the death storage. We can build ourselves a dark altar in the POH, which makes spellbook swapping incredibly easy. More so when I change to Arceus spellbook rather than back, because changing back from Arceus spellbook isn't that hard. You can just home teleport and you're there. But just the idea of having it in the POH is just a massive time save. I really want to do this. I do have a big stack of soul runes saved up from uh, raids. And if even if I do need soul runes for anything else, I really need hardly any. So I can just buy them here when I need to. So I think using this stack of 3,215 on the altar is the best investment for it. And I think this is the best time to do it. Unless I was to get 90 runecraft and just make soul runes in the future. Which is just putting off the upgrade for very little reason. I've got the cash. I might as well do it. So, with all that said... I'm about to dump one mil of my cash into soul rooms. Ah, <sighs> goodbye money. What the heck? Why is there 874 nature rooms in here? Alright, that's going to be 5,000 soul rooms. We started at just shy of 22 mil and we have finished at... Okay, I mean, it, mm, it was about 880k, honestly. It's a lot of money, but it's not as much as I thought it'd be. But at least that's done. We are going to need to buy a magic stone for this as well, which is going to cost us another mil. But then I think that's all of my gold sinking done. And that is going to finish up all of the bolts. Um, I still have 77 rubies left, but I'm not going to go mine adamant and coal and make more bolts. It's not worth it. What I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to cut these and sell them to a gem shop. Conveniently enough, the one in Valamore is actually a lot closer. Well... Maybe not closer, but a lot easier to get to the bank from, so it's easy to run back and forth. Uh, previously, I'd have to use the Karen Castle one, which means going up and down two flights of stairs every time, which is really annoying, so I don't like doing that. Uh, actually, we need, need that chisel still to cut the gems, but inventory is a bit of a mess at the moment. I've been collecting secondaries because I want to get through some of the herbs that we have in the death storage. Speaking of, I can harvest these. And uh, we'll just be filtering through all of the uh, random items we have, like herbs and stuff. I'm going to pick some of these, and the next thing I'm going to do, because I'm now streaming, is go and build all of this stuff in the house. I do have everything I need, I think. Uh, actually, I'm missing one magic stone, but I'll go and get that in a moment. It shouldn't take me too long. And we'll be able to build absolutely everything. Oh, and the Arche Arceus Signet. I've got to get that as well. All right, it's time to sink some money and all of the runes. Uh, we are going to build ourselves, what is the room called? The oh, It's just called the Portal Nexus. Build ourselves a Portal Nexus room. I will move this around in a moment, uh, just to make sure that I've got it in the right place. I'll have it over there. But we should be able to build ourselves a standard Portal Nexus. Now, I'm not going to build the other two. There's no real reason to. This allows four teleports, and I only have access to four teleports, so these are kind of pointless. So we'll build ourselves the regular. I don't have Sauron Hammer. I need to go grab that real quick. All right, now I got the saw and the hammer. Let's go ahead and build the marble portal nexus. Two thousand construction HP, which I really don't need. Um, should be able to. There we go. We just add this one. Uh, if I can remember how to do this, like that. There we go. That's that one. The library, the battlefront, and Karen Castle. Where's Karen Castle? There. Why can't I do it? I don't have water runes. Did I need water runes? I'm sure I looked this up before and I had the right runes. All right, now I've got myself the thousand lore, um, water runes. Sorry, I should be able to do. Karen Castle, the Fortis teleport that I can't pronounce. Arceus Library and a Battlefront. They are the four teleports I can benefit from. Everything else is inaccessible as far as I'm aware. So I'm just going to do this for now and save. That should take all of the runes that I prepared. And bosh. There we go. We've got ourselves a portal nexus. Like I said, I'm going to move this around later and put it in a more convenient location. In fact, I'm just going to switch it with the portals because there's no reason for me to have the portal room when I've got this. But I can now click on this and... Lag for a lot, but then we are now in Voldemort. There we go. 
With the construction cape combined with that, we have good access to Voldemort. The farming patch is a little bit of a jog, but I, I'll make do with it. For now, though, I need to quickly head down to the stone mason and grab myself one more magic stone, and then we'll be able to build the rest of the stuff in the house. Thank you for the Arceus Signet. This is going to allow us to build the altar and the POH, so I will be able to change my spellbook. Unfortunately, I also needed 10 limestone bricks, so my inventory is a bit clogged right now. Right, so first off, we're going to build ourselves the Dark Altar, and I'm going to put out there, the only reason I'm doing this first is because I actually forgot to get a steel bar for the other thing, but we're going to pretend that didn't happen. So build the Dark Altar, get ourselves a chunk of XP, and now I can switch spellbooks at will, which is beautiful because I don't have to go to that stupid place up north all the time. Right, and the final thing that I'm going to build, and bear in mind, this is something that I actually could have built before Valamore, I just couldn't be bothered, and Valamore also made it easier for me in one way. There are gold rocks in the southeast of Valamore, near where the stonemason is. Prior to this, I had no reliable way of getting gold. Uh, I could get it from Winter Todd, I could get it from Implings, I could get it from Captain Arnav, but like, I couldn't mine it, so it was really annoying. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and build this. This is the only one I can get, by the way, before anyone's wondering. I cannot charge Dragonstone Jewelry, and they have to be charged, so these can never be built. Which is a shame, because if I could use Uncharged, I could technically just get Dragonstones and make these, and it'd be really cool. Uh, we'd have a skills necklace for Farming Guild and Woodcutting Guild, but it is what it is. We can't make them. Go ahead and make the basic jewelry box, which is going to give us one teleport, at least for now. Look at the teleport menu. Uh, we have access to Winter Todd. Which is fantastic. I'm never going to go there again, so it's not really that useful. And this one is currently locked. So when we finally unlock that, we'll have that as well. But for now, we just have the Winterstock Teleport. But that is all of the POH upgrades done. My inventory is now nicely cleared up. I'm going to be going and working through the last of the stuff in the Death Storage that I can get through right now. And we'll soon be looking towards doing some of the new combat content in Valamore. Right, that's going to be the last of the potions we've made for now. Yes, I used up a bunch of my herbs. Uh, I want to clear up the inventory space. I'm going to be saving some of them and putting them in the herb sack, like so. Uh, just in case I need a potion in the future, I do have some stuff in here. We've got cantines, we've got lanternimes. I'm going to be putting more qualms in there, probably get some irrits. Um, I've changed the setting as well so that they don't empty on death, which is a lot better because then my death storage isn't going to be absolutely clogged. Uh, but for now, we're going to go over, we're going to chisel these and sell these off. Alright, that is all the ruby sold. We now have 19, nearly 19.8 mil, and I think that's where we're sat on right now. We're going to have one last thing to build in the house soon, but not quite yet because I don't have the stuff for it. I'm going to be building a mounted Xerix in the house, but I do need 5,000 Lizardman Fangs. We currently have about 700 in death storage, so I've got 4.3k to get. But it is a lot easier to kill Lizardman now. Because we have access to the Pestle and Mortar, which means I can make super anti-poisons. The only downside for this is I don't actually currently have any Iris. I'm going to have to grow some. Um, so uh, I'm not going to be doing it right now. <laughs> I have to wait for the Iris to grow, but once they are grown, I am probably just going to sit myself at Lizardmen. We are going to AFK and try and get ourselves some fangs. Now, on the bright side, I do have the diary completed, so I should have the increased rate of getting the talisman drop, which gives me an extra 100. I mean, I will need one in the first place, but I'd be pretty impressed if I managed to get 4.3 thousand fangs without actually getting the talisman. Uh, but I do have the increased drop rate, so we can get some extra fangs out of that. So that should make it speed up slightly. And like I said, it's pretty AFK, so I'm not too worried about how much effort I have to put into this. Thank you.